villains. Are we ready for the next album reaction, Deadlock? I'm super excited to get into it. Um, next week we should be go ahead and moving on to um, the next couple episodes of Begins. And I believe this is actually my last album for Extenuary Heroes. So I think it will be just weekly back to back begins. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I have a variety of different things. Uh, some of the songs just have lyric videos. I think one just has a live. Um, I have already reacted to uh, Freaking Bad, so I th think this is just um, a band performance. And then I have the music video for Dear H and Alive for it. So a little bit all over the place, but it's going to be fun regardless. Let's go! Uh, by the way, Happy New Year. I hope you guys all enjoyed your holidays. I did. I got lots and lots and lots of rest, so that's really nice. Alright, come into my head. The number you have found is not available at present. That was a little too loud. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo! Got a little different vibe to it. Oh, I love the breathing room in the break from all like the tension of the song. interested to hear how they do this live like this um 
Like, do they strip it back at all, or it's just gonna be the track and I'm seeing, seeing it? Yeah, okay. And the vocals on this song? Yeah, this is gonna be awesome to listen to. I can probably turn this one up. Come to my head. Come to my head. You're in my kingdom and you're the only one. No matter what I'm a do, so they more is so. Oh, you don't know that the singer can meet you. Him to pull through, keep it by the gajita. I'm not a gadget, it's hanging home, but the knows when the trigger and the song's stuck in you. I'm stuck in you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, welcome to my playground, I get your good joy, welcome to the phone, nobody die, play me now, what you mean, thank you, I need you to get to me, go to the, blah, blah, come to my man, come to my head, come to my head, Oh, the wine in his voice. Like, he sounds almost exactly like, like his backing track, which is crazy for just like a whisper vocal or a whisper up. Come to my head. <laughs> what are you guys doing, cuties? I turn it to the toa. I kiss it on my toa. I don't know how to do it. 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 I don't know how to Scenario Heroes, the only group that I feel like a connection to the dance moves. Hey! <laughs> Beautiful! <sighs> freaking bad. Freaking, freaking bad. Sounds just like him, right? Fan performance video! My goodness, do you have with this brush back hair? I saw that swear. Words will be bad. And so soon you're about to find it easy. 
Let's go. Yeah, I would have loved to pull up um, some lives from their current tour, but I am so, I'm so picky um, and careful with people's like personal fan cams because I do know of quite a few reactors who had um, copyright strikes because people don't like when reactors steal, not steal, react to their fan cams. So that is unfortunate, but I will react, or not react, but watch quite a, uh, wa watch them on my own. Bicycle. I can ride my bike with no handlebars. Yeah, we just have the, the live clip for bicycle today. This is a stunning stage setup. shock me like you, you think you know where the song is gonna go or have a general idea and then next thing you know like the chorus comes in and you're like oh okay Sunset, making me more perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, the piano on this is really pretty. Can we talk about how Skyloon, like, how insane he looks in this? This song is so good. You know, one of the reasons why I keep like saying that I'm getting shocked by listening to the music is that their composition doesn't stay the same. Um, and I don't even know all that much about music. I probably can even you know, half the time tell you what the bridge of a song is, but I can tell just by like listening from start to finish that like they don't do like a typical arrangement or at least not, or they rearrange their songs completely different from song to song. And that's why I'm like, oh, this is so fun. God damn it, get off. Let me just do that, all of them, ah, go back. Damn it, I did it again. Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Okay. Checkmate.
Backroom Adlibs. This one's more like a, a like solid vibe of a song. If you get what I, if I'm meaning, uh, if you get what I mean. There's nothing like insanely crazy about like the track, like a lot of their other songs. But I feel like that's what makes it so good in like the middle of that, of that album or this album. It's a uh, a breather song. Uh, because typically on an album you don't want everything up here or everything down here um, and I tend to listen to songs like this um, like easy listening songs a lot a lot a lot a lot okay um, I'm not 100% sure if I've actually reacted to this particular live of good enough but you know that I've seen um, the music video already and I'm pretty sure I've done a live, but you know, you can never listen to good enough too many times. So um, it's in here because I like to obviously follow the album in order, uh, regardless if I've already heard the song. So let's go! The place I know that seems so far. Where you put your arms around my heart and get me warm all through the night. It's not gravity or ocean wind that always bring me back what to you. Sir, every, every single time I get goosebumps. To the song. Oh my god! <laughs>
<sighs> How he ends that. keeping a straight face. Look, I don't think I, one, will ever get tired of hearing this song, and two, never be completely mind blown when I hear them sing it live. And their ability to constantly perform it with that much emotion every single time too is, is crazy. Is crazy. And of course, y'all know, like, we don't have to bring up their, or we can, um, bring up their vocals because beautiful, insane. <sighs> okay. Man in the box. So, Bird? Are we outside? Level up. Level up. Level up. Okay. See, this is exactly what I was talking about when you compare like this song to like Checkmate. You know, the the track is entirely different. Like there's all the bells and whistles and, and things like this in Man of the Box, but Checkmate seems more like a, I guess like typical and I'm not saying that in a bad way, like typical arranged, like classic, like more rock song. And this is, this song is very like extraordinary, ex extraordinary, <laughs> extraordinary heroes vibe, you know? I got your body I gotta run away I wanna run away But how I'm turning to a monster So many of their songs feel like it needs to be in the soundtrack of of Nightmare Book for Christmas. A lot of their music just gives me like Every t when I hear it, I just think Nightmare Before Christmas. And that's such a good thing because the movie is probably up there top 10 of my favorite movies.
the scream. It's so perfect. definitely know how to make memorable songs like you're gonna remember that and remember the chorus because it's catchy all right dear h has been i believe one of the most requested songs for me to listen to since i started this channel and i knew i was gonna get to it eventually they're like if you guys are like if you love their vocals then you have to listen to dear h and uh, unfortunately, it was all the way in the last album that I was going to react to. So I'm kind of scared, to be honest. <laughs> Stop. 
crying. I'm actually literally like terrified to listen to this live. Whew. Yep. And it being in Junhan's perspective. Wait, did Junhan write this? <sighs> oh god, okay. Let me know who wrote it. And uh, does it say, well, hold on, let me see. Directed. That print is so small. Oh, I can't. Okay, I can't see. All right, here we go. Son darte ta capto jo vici adukage ma ne kyojine. Oh, the difference already. Non apu chonjon to urite jo. today <laughs> oh oh god I really want to watch another one like this one but I know Ikigai tends to get blocked a lot on YouTube okay all right we'll leave it there um I don't know if you guys know but like ballads are typically like not my favorite like songs and it's not is that I don't like them is I usually have to be in a specific mood for a um ballad but dear h and good enough freaking definitely good enough wrecks me and I could see dear h being right up there oh my god okay anyway um we have officially finished your discography isn't that crazy to think about so as always drop in the comments any other things that you would like me to react to um like i said in the beginning though we are getting into the next couple episodes of begin begins 
begin. Um, so look forward to that. And yeah, I can't sing them praises enough. And you guys certainly do in the comments. So hey, uh, also drop down any tidbits that you are aware of. I'm sure there's a beautiful backstory and meaning behind a few of these songs, especially Dear H. If you know it, let me know. So love you all. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.